Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Liz. On this episode, we'll be making an apple pie in honor of July 4th, the day the Declaration of Independence was signed. Making crust, and it is so much fun. A large bowl, and into it you put two cups of flour, one tablespoon sugar, and one teaspoon salt, and mix. Then, take a little cup and fill it with a bit of water because you're going to need it later. Six tablespoons of shortening, six tablespoons of butter. Wrappers, garbage, and cut them up into little-ish pieces. And put them in the bowl. Here's where you get down and dirt. If you don't have the tool you need, which I don't, you got to use your hands, which is why they're very clean. And you stick your hands in, and you crunch, and you grind, until it looks like that. And you take a cup of water, blue like this, and drizzle six to eight teaspoons into your mess. You go back to crunching and grinding until that's nice and absorbed. You keep adding more water or a little more flour until it starts to look like this. And you keep going. And you're starting to try and form a ball. Form the ball. Form, form the ball. No. Ball. But it's not perfect yet. You push and you smooth and you pound and you get all the last grimy bits out of the bowl and you roll it until it's a nice round ball of dough. Now, a lot of people here would just wrap it in cellophane and just stick it in the refrigerator or the freezer, depending on how long they want to keep it, and have done. Take your ball, you put it in the middle, and you take your rolling pin, go on and just love it on it. You come up with all Off key much? I think so. It's all okay in the end because you come out with a lovely, lovely flattened sucker. And you put it in the preordained space and you set it there to cool. And once you've cleaned it all up, you start all over again. You have to make two pie crusts if you're making an apple pie. Flash to daytime. Now we have to make the filling. Through the power of movie magic, I have peeled, chopped, and cored five apples. Most people will just use Granny Smith apples, but I like to use some variety. You have to put it in a big bowl of water with a little lemon juice, and I like to add some apple juice. Looks like that. Now you need another big bowl. Put into that bowl one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, a fourth of a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and let's say a fourth of a teaspoon each of some allspice, nutmeg, ginger. Then you take a wooden spoon and you mix it all up until it's well combined and looks like this. Now you're going to want to take those flattened pie crusts out. They have to have chilled for at least 20 minutes. Drain your apples and put your apples into your brown mixture. Grab another spoon, so you have two, and start to toss it until all of the apples are covered in brown slime. Get out your pie pan and take the top cellophane off one of the pie crusts. Put one hand on top of the pan, one hand under the cookie sheet, and flip. Then gently help the crust slide without breaking into the pan. Take a fork and stab it. There they are. Now take your filling and put it into the holy pie crust. Uncover your second pie crust. Cut the strips. They should be about a half inch wide. Very carefully, transport the longest strip to your pie. So far you've done one down the center, one horizontally, and two more down the center. So it'll look like this. And if you keep pulling back and putting down, it'll start to look like that. And in the end, it will look like this. Brush. Use a little egg white and brush. And take some tin foil and wrap it around the edge. So cook it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Magical clothes change. Take it out of the oven at 50 minutes. Remove the foil. Put it back in and cook it until it's golden brown. And when you're done, you will have a beautiful apple pie. And that concludes this segment of Cooking with Liz. I hope you enjoy. Okay, two more orders of business. First, Emmy's punishment. Again, Allie and I were talking, Emmy, and we decided that you should be able to do your punishments together. We're Lady Red to go talk to the boys, get their first name, street number, and the last two digits of their phone number, and then go to dinner. If you do do the combined punishment, which I'd much rather see you do, you should only have to talk to three boys, not four. Also, rule for today, punishments have to be completed within two rounds of videos. That has to be done by then or else she gets punished again. Bye.